What's up guys, Chase here at Rocky Mountain ATV MC and welcome to our ATV and UTV Tires 101. All right guys, so Rocky Mountain ATV MC, we are your tire headquarters. In fact, we got our start way back in 1985 selling just ATV tires. And when it comes to ATV and UTV tires, there's a lot to know and consider when you're choosing your next tires. Yes, we all want a tire that looks cool, but there's a lot more to know and consider when choosing your next set than just a cool looking tread pattern. So in this video, we're gonna break down these tires. We're gonna talk about all the attributes that make a tire a tire. We're also gonna answer a couple commonly asked questions about tire and wheel size compatibility. So to start off, we're gonna talk about sizing. All right guys, so when you're tire shopping, the first thing that you're gonna to need to consider is gonna be your tire size. Now the dimensions of every tire are gonna be right here on the tire sidewall. Now I've got this Pro Armor crawler in here as an example. So if you look at the sidewall here, you're gonna have three numbers. The first number on this is 30. So that's gonna be the diameter of the tire. In other words, how tall the tire is. The second number is gonna be 10. That's the width of the tire from sidewall to sidewall. And then your last number here, 14. So this tire is gonna go on a 14 inch rim. Now in some cases, when you're seeing these dimensions, you're gonna have an R in front of your rim size. That R stands for radial, which is the type of construction of the tire. We're gonna talk about that here in just a few minutes. Now a question that we get here a lot at Rocky Mountain is can you mount a tire if the width of the tire is greater than the width of the rim? And the answer is yes. In fact, I brought an example in here today to show you. This is a Kanadi Mongrel tire. It's an 11 inch tire and we have it mounted on a seven inch rim. So you're gonna have approximately about two inches of overhang on each side. Now the benefit to that is that's gonna protect your rim from rocks and other debris from hitting that. So it's going to preserve your rims really well. However, keep in mind that it can cause performance or clearance issues. So you just always wanna check your manufacturer's recommendations for tire and rim sizing. All right, so now we're gonna talk about tread. Now most of your tires are gonna have a tread specific design. They're gonna give the optimal amount of grip and traction for a specific application, a riding style, or a terrain. You're also gonna have your all-terrain tires, which are gonna be designed to give good grip and traction in just about any terrain. So here at Rocky Mountain, we carry a lot of different tires that are tread specific for mud, desert, sand, and rock. So we're gonna start out with your sand tires. Now sand tires for UTVs, they're designed to be very, very lightweight. So for your rear tires, you're gonna have a paddle design that's gonna scoop the sand to give you that drive. Now your front tires are meant to really float on top of the sand, they're very minimal. Some sand tires for the front don't have any tread whatsoever, but most of them are gonna have a ridge that's molded on that goes around the entire circumference of the tire, and that's gonna help give you that steering and that loose sand. Now moving on to mud tires. Now mud tires, they're designed to have a very aggressive, very deep and very spread out lug design. That's gonna make sure you're gonna get that very good grip in those muddy and wet surfaces. It's also gonna be very efficient at self-cleaning and clearing out the mud. Now with mud and sand tires, these are very specific to the terrain that they were designed to be in. We do not recommend ever using these tires in, in hard or rocky surfaces because they do break down quite fast. Now the last tread design that we're gonna talk about is gonna be your all-terrain tire. This is gonna be your most popular type of tread. Now this is gonna be what your desert racers and your rock guys are gonna be using. Now the trend nowadays with your all-terrain tires is to have a tire that looks and performs more like an aggressive off-road truck tire. So the lug design on these, they're gonna be closer together. So it's gonna give you a larger contact patch on the ground because so it's gonna give that good grip in just about all surfaces. And you're also, your tread depth is gonna be moderate with these tires. So that's gonna give you a smoother ride on most surfaces and especially at your higher speeds. All right, so now we're gonna talk about the carcass of your tire. Now the carcass is better described as just the body of the tire. So it's gonna be basically everything underneath the tread. So with this sand tire here, if you can imagine, if I were to take off all these paddles and just have it completely bare, that's gonna be the carcass that is left over. Now the carcass in the sidewall of your tire, they're gonna be made up of layers called plies. Now in the ATV and UTV world, there's two types of tires that you're gonna find. You're gonna have bias ply and you're gonna have radial. And we're gonna talk about those more here in just a few minutes, but the main difference between the two is gonna be the construction and the direction that the belts are laid in these tires. Now these belts, they're gonna be made from nylon mostly, but you can find them from Kevlar and steel as well. 
All right, so now we're gonna talk about your ply rating with your tire. So just like with your tire sizing, your ply rating is also gonna be located here on the tire sidewall. Now back in the olden days, if your tire had a ply rating of four, that's because it was actually constructed using four different plies. This is no longer the case. Nowadays, the ply rating is a measurement of the load capacity and the strength of your tire. Now you can have a, you can have a ply rating nowadays on an ATV tire from anywhere from two all the way up to 12. So two is gonna be on the light side of things, that's gonna be for your sand tires, and you can get all the way up to 12, which is gonna have your toughest sidewalls and have your highest load capacity. So on this tire here, you're gonna have an eight ply rating. Now sometimes you're gonna see stars on the side of your tire. A lot of people ask, what do those mean? Well, the stars also represent your ply rating. Now each star represents two plies. So if you ever had a tire that had three stars on the side of it, you're gonna have a six ply rating for that tire. Now one thing to keep in mind with your ply rating, the higher the ply rating, the tougher the tire is going to be, but it's also going to be heavier as well. All right, so now we're going to talk about bias ply and radial tires and the difference between the two. We're going to start out with your bias ply tire. So as we talked about before, the difference in the construction between the two is going to be how those cords are laid down underneath. So with the bias ply tire, those cords are laid down diagonally. They're actually going to be more of a crisscross pattern. They're going to be between 30 and 60 degrees. Now that design is going to allow the body of the tire to flex evenly, so it's going to conform to your rough and rocky terrain. Now with your radial tires, those plies or those cords are gonna be laid across the tire from bead to bead perpendicular to the center line of the tire. And then your breaker or your belt cords are gonna be laid over the top of those and those are gonna go around the circumference of the tire. Now radial tires, they're quickly becoming very, very popular. There's a lot of pros to these. One, you're gonna have a more even, longer lasting tread wear. They're gonna perform better at higher speeds with better handling and they're also gonna feature better puncture resistance. So there's a lot of pros to these, which is why the radial tire is quickly becoming the standard in the industry. All right, so next up, we're gonna talk about the sidewall on the tire. Now the sidewall, it's a small portion of the tire, but it's very, very important. So that's gonna be from your tread down here to your bead. Now the sidewall construction, that's gonna determine the stiffness of the tire, how much it flexes, the ride comfort, and also the slice and puncture resistance. Now typically, your shorter sidewalls are gonna be stiffer with less flex, and they're gonna be more stable at your higher speeds, and your taller sidewalls, those are gonna do better, be more comfortable at lower speeds in that rough and rocky terrain. Now we've already talked about how your, your tire size and your PSI, or not your PSI rating, but your ply rating is gonna be here on the side of the tire. There's a couple other things on the sidewall that I wanna point out that you should really consider when you're looking to buy your new tires. The first thing we're talking about is gonna be your lugs here on the sidewall. You can see with this Pro Armor crawler that the tread lugs come all the way down the sidewall. So this is gonna be really good if you're in a deep rut or if you're pressed up against a rock that's gonna give that extra grip to the side of the tire. It's also gonna offer additional protection to your sidewall. The next thing I wanna show you is here around the inside, around the bead of the tire, you can see this crawler has this rim guard. So what this does, this allows your rim to sit recessed inside the tire. So it's gonna protect your rim. It's also gonna keep sand, dirt, and other debris from getting into that beaded area. So those are just a couple of things to look at and consider when you're shopping for your next set of tires. All right, so the last thing we're gonna cover is gonna be PSI for your tires. Now, it's very important to run the proper PSI for your tire. This is gonna ensure the right performance, durability, comfort, and safety while you're out riding. Now, when you're setting your PSI, there's a lot of things to factor in to get that right PSI setting. You're gonna have your terrain, the temperature, and also your payload you gotta think about. Now, with PSI ratings, you're always gonna have one here on the side of the tire. Now, in the ATV and UTV world, you're gonna have a max PSI rating. Now, what that means is that is the max PSI to set the tire's bead to the rim. That is not what you, what you want to run the tire's PSI at. Now the best thing to do is just check with your machine's manufacturer. In fact, a lot of your machines are gonna have a sticker or a placard that's actually gonna give you the recommended PSI settings for the front and for the rear. All right guys, so thanks for checking out our UTV Tires 101 video. Now that you know more about tires, you are ready to get your next set. So hop on over to our website at RockyMountainATVMC.com. You can shop our full collection of tires and don't forget to check out our tire and wheel package builder. That's gonna let you pick out the tires you want, pick out the rims you want, and we will mount them and ship them to your house free of charge. Now, if you ever have any questions about mounting, about fitment, give us a call here at Rocky Mountain to talk to one of our techs, or you can chat live online. Now, to never miss out and stay in the loop on our latest gear guides, product reviews, and how-to videos, click and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Chase here at Rocky Mountain, and we'll see you on the trails.